Welcome to the world proclaiming, worship participating, and witness practicing church. The announcements are as follows. Join our WhatsApp group by texting your name to the number on the screen or by emailing us via our email address to stay up to date with the family of God. Our recurring activities include Sunday school classes on Sundays at 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. Children's church every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. except for fourth Sundays. Bible study on Wednesdays, 7.30 p.m. Youth Ablaze is at 7.30 p.m. on Fridays. And prayer meetings are Tuesdays at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. And on Saturdays, they begin at 6 a.m. on Zoom. Our live streams are not possible without the help of our dedicated media ministry. They ensure that we always produce quality content for you, our wonderful viewers, to enjoy. If you would like to support them, please take the following steps. Additionally, if you would like to give to our church and media ministry, there are many ways to do so. You can scan the QR code on your screen or visit the link being shown or by copying the banking information. We urge you to continue praying for our brothers and sisters, especially those on our prior list. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Do Haney Part New Testament on YouTube, as well as share our videos with a family member or friend. Turn on the post notification bell to be notified whenever we post or go live. Follow us on all our other socials on Instagram at Duhaney Park and on Facebook at Duhaney Park New Testament. May God bless you richly. Welcome to the world proclaiming, worship participating, and witness practicing church. The announcements are as follows. Join our WhatsApp group by texting you.
church, there is power in it's power. power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. We know that I want There is power, power to heal all of our disease. Power, 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 power to drive away the forces of darkness. Oh God, when our backs are against the wall, we just call the name. Jesus, and we resolve it again. It will never lose. Hallelujah. It will never. Worship, Sister Stacy and RV, receive her in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah! The blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never, ever, ever lose its power. I'll now invite by the praise team to come and also invite Sister Tamisha McKenzie with her opening prayer. After which, we'll have the scripture reading by Sister Larissa Miles. And it will be taken from Revelation 3, verse 14 to 22. We pray and God deliver. We pray and God stops the Continue to hail you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We continue to declare you as Lord of our lives, mighty God, and no other else. The God who reigns supreme, oh Lord, over our lives. The God who reigns supreme over this region. The God who reigns supreme in Jamaica. The God who reigns supreme in the Caribbean and the rest of the world. The entire universe is your footstool. The galaxies, the stars, the moon is at your command. And so God, we lift you up and honor you this morning. Oh great God, Jehovah, the covenant keeping God, the promise making and promise keeping God. Thank you Lord, thank you God. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you, God, that your service is set in motion. Thank you, God, that this place is already consecrated and sanctified, that hearts are open to receive from your hand this morning. We thank you, Lord God, that chains are already being broken, shackles are already being broken. Those who came, who are not saved, God, they are already being convicted in the name Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that the hands of the musicians are consecrated. The voices of the singers are consecrated. Oh, 
Messiah. Thank you for the angels that are standing, God, in our midst this morning, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Lord, for the shepherd of the house whom you have strengthened week after week, day after day, God, to make intercession on our behalf. Thank you for the council men, women, and their families. Continue to cover them. Continue to protect them. Thank you for the membership of this church, God. Thank you for the congregation this morning. Thank you, God, that you are covering this service. Thank you, God, that the word that is going to be brought forth this morning, it is already set, it is already consecrated, made fit to go forth into the atmosphere, to shift the atmosphere, Lord, to speak into the hearts of those who are broken, Lord, and to bring deliverance and restoration this morning. We just thank you, God, for it. We thank you for the move of your spirit. We thank you, Lord God, that we shall see great things in Duany Park. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Remember our moderator. Cover her even as she stands in the gap this morning to direct this service. Give her wisdom. Give her might. Give her power. Oh, God, a fresh and a new anointing to speak, oh, Lord God and to be directed by your Holy Spirit. Continue to cover us, continue to be with us as we give you all the honor, all the glory and the praise. Put your hands together for Jesus, church. He's good, hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Good morning, church. The scripture reading is taken from Revelation 3, and it says, To the angel of the church of Sadis write, These are the words of him who holds the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your deeds. You have re retention of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up! Strengthens that reminds and is about to die. For I found your deeds unfinished in the sight of my God. Remember, therefore, that you have pent, but if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know ye. Yet you have a few people in Sadis who have not sullied their clothes. They will walk with me dressed in white, for they are worthy. The one who is victorious will, like them, be dressed in white. I will never blot out of the name of the person of the book of life, but will acknowledge that name before my father and his angels. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angels of the church in Philippi write these words, the words of him who is holy and true, who holds the key of David, what he opens no one can shut, and what he shuts no one can't open. I know your deed. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, yet you have keep my word and have not denied my name. I will make those who are of the synagogue of Satan who claim to be Jews through they are not, but are liars. I will make them come and fall down at my feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole world to test in habits of the earth. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, 
so that no one will take your crown. The one who is victorious, I will make a filifer in the temple of my God. Never again will they leave it. I will write on, on them the name of my God and the name of the city of my God. The new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on them my new name. Whosoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angels of the church in Lydia, write, These are the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of God's creation. I know your deeds. You are either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot or cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You said, I am rich. I have acquired wealth and do not need a, a thing. But you do not realize that you are rich, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I conceal you to buy from me gold refined in the fire so you can become, become rich and white clothes to wear so you can over your shameful nakedness and slave to put on your eyes so you can see. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in, in and eat with the, that person, and they with me. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I, that just as I was victorious and sat down with my father on the throne. Whosoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. This is the word of the Lord, and we honor by saying thanks. Praise God. You may be seated. Bless the name of the Lord. Can we put our hands together for Sister Harvey and for all those who have led out thus far in worship. It's a good thing to be in the house of the Lord this morning to give him glory, honor, and praise. Let me greet the Godhead who is the head of my life, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I want to greet all our council members, our Ministry leaders, particularly today, is Youth Sunday. I want to greet Sister Shanice Alexander, who is our youth director, and assisted by Sister Sherina Malcolm. Please put your hands together for them. And for the youth board, amen, as we continue to honor God and to give God glory and praise for his continued steadfastness unto us. God is a good God. If you believe that God is a good God, if you have been experiencing the goodness of God, put our hands together and let us celebrate the goodness and the mighty work of Almighty God. God is good and all the time. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I want to, before the announcement come, I have to leave shortly. I'll be speaking this morning at Clifton at their convention. So I'll be leaving shortly, hence I, I um, hijacked the service. <laughs> on Wednesday, my brothers and sisters, on Tuesday of this week, right, um, we'll be having our ladies' district gathering here. We know that this week 
um, starting today commences uh, the Women's Week nationally. Now, it will be done on a, a district level here in, on the Eastwood Park District. So Tuesday, we will be gathering here for Women's Empowerment Service. And it is a full-packed power service that is planned with a guest speaker. And we want everyone to be out on Tuesday to give your support. Right? As the host church, uh, we, I don't believe that we should be outnumbered in any way, shape, or form. Right? And so we want persons to be out Tuesday evening in your number to give your support to the, to the gathering that will be happening here. This evening, starting at 6, it will be on Zoom. Right? And we ask us all to come online. Um, our guest speaker this evening will be the Reverend Dr. Maxine Johnson the founder of this church, and she'll be online to share with us this evening. And then on Monday, we'll be online, right? Um, we'll be have, catering to both men and women, right, um, in terms of the presentation that will be done. And um, I, I think I'll be sharing Monday evening in the breakout room for the men. And so I want us to come on board, church. Wednesday evening will be Breast Cancer Awareness Session, and it will be online. And we want all our women to be online and our men as well, right? Because we need to know how to help our female counterparts, you know, how to do the, the mammogram and do all the checks and how to give them the moral support that is needed. And so we want everyone, you know, to be on board. And on Friday, the Women's Week culminate with the worship experience at the EPR church, right? Face to face. And we want persons to be out as well. On next week's Sunday morning, we'll be having our baptism at 6.30 a.m. at the Caymanas River. And we want as many persons as possible to come out and celebrate with the candidates that have decided to walk with the Lord in water baptism. Put your hands together for them. So far, we have five candidates who have indicated and expressed their interest. If you are here, can you stand, please? Let us celebrate with you this morning. Amen. And so next week, Sunday morning, we journey to Caymanas River. And as many persons as possible that want to be with, that want to come, please come out next week, Sunday morning, early as we travel over. So service begins 6.30 next week. Amen. So we're going out there. If you have your tambourine, walk with the tambourine and your hymnal. And we're going out there to have worship, take a one swim, and then we head right back to church. So just walk with the church clothes so you can get dressed from six, go to baptism and come right back to church for Sunday school. Amen? Next week, Sunday as well, will be Stewardship Sunday. And this is a national initiative, right, from our administrative bishop. It's Stewardship Sunday. Where, and it's also known as Break the Record Sunday. Break the records in every aspect. So we want to be out in our numbers for Sunday school. Let me say that I want to see people coming to Sunday school. You know, Sunday school is very interesting. Um, it is the main discipleship arm of the church, and we want everyone to be in Sunday school. There is a Sunday school class for every individual, right? And we want to see you in, in Sunday school. Next week, Sunday as well, we'll be taking a rally offering, right? That will go towards our rally. We have several things that we want to do and to raise some much needed funds as we would have indicated in our conference for our 40th anniversary and um, the expense and also for our legacy project, right? So that big gate that you come through at the gate that was done at the front was donated, donated by the Duhaney Park New Testament Church of God. And so we want to offset some cost associated with that legacy project. And I think that we have been doing pretty well. Put your hands together for yourselves for that. The next week, Sunday, we'll be taking a special offering. So we ask persons to walk with a rally contribution, right? We don't have a group, any group activities or stuff like that to raise funds. So we are asking everyone. We are not saying give a specific amount. Give as the Lord leads you, all right? And we will take in that next week. Friday, as we'll be having our cake sale that go towards our benevolent ministry to put together our care packages for the 13 and to help persons over the Christmas period. 
And so we want today is the cutoff date um, for the orders. You can speak with Sister Carol, um, Sister Hyman, Sister Mackenzie um, to express your interest in purchase. As I say, if you are not someone who likes cake, um, you can purchase it for someone or you must have grandchildren or make a contribution what, what the Lord would have maybe deposited in your spirit. Church, next week, Sunday, all right, um, the Duhaney Park New Testament Church of God um, will be having an intern pastor. So next week, Sunday, I'll be introducing that intern pastor who is in her final year at Bethel Bible College. All right, in my interaction with her and engagement with her, she, she is known by some persons here um, at Duhaney Park. All right, she has done ministry here before. And so next week, um, you'll hear more about her. So she'll be coming to, to stay with us until May next year. Right? So she'll be here um, for us to give her a platform to exercise her spiritual gifts and calling, as well as to provide leadership and guidance and mold her into all that God would have want her to be. And so next week, I'll be formally introducing her. And also, as time goes by, I will be, I'll be, out, I will be outlining a number of measures as it pertains to her and her pastoral formation and engagement here at the, the local church. All right? So next week, I hope things happen next week, you know. Next week, Sunday as well, will be Sister Sharon's angling mother's funeral in Westmoreland, Bob to be specific, Westmoreland. There is a bus that will be leaving um, to Westmoreland. I think the cost is $3,000. Yes, so you can speak with Minister of Transportation, um, Minister Kelvin Hyman, um, if you are interested, our sister Anglin, um, to go and stand with our sister and support her during this time of grief. As, we, as I wrap up now, there will be some 40th anniversary t-shirts on the outside. We have all sizes, shape, and styles. Right? So <laughs> everyone um, is, is captured in a t-shirt out there. Right? So if you are somebody who loves green, we have a green shirt out there. If you like orange, you can get orange out there. If you like blue, we have blue out there. If you love white, we have white out there. If you love beige or gray, they are out there. So, so after church, let's go outside. Speak with Sister Christine and the team. Right, We take a 50% deposit to secure the shirts. So the shirts are done to order. Right, So by the, the, the middle of, of next month, we want to, be, want to deliver the shirts. For the last Sunday in November which will be our Friends Day. It will be a just down, dressed down event. And we are inviting our friends and we are going to show off in our DP 40th anniversary shirts. Amen? Put your hands together for the Lord. Great things are in store. And so we want you to get your shirt, secure your shirt for DP 40th. God bless you as we continue to worship in the beauty of holiness. At this time, we'll have the hymn, What a Day That Will Be. Please stand. What a day that will be. Day, glorious day that we 
which will have sister Nadine Swaby with the announcements. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. I would like to ask if there are any first-time visitors worship, worshiping with us this morning. Could you please indicate by standing? I would like to ask any first-time visitors, if you're worshiping with us for the first time this morning, please indicate by standing. I guess there are no... Oh. Do better than that, man, church. Amen. On behalf of our pastor, Reverend Diego Dunchi, Council members and the regular members members of the church, I would like to welcome you. Hope you guys have a wonderful day worshiping with us. Feel free to come back another time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy.
Good morning, church. Most of what I'm going to say, Pastor, have said it. So it's just a reminder for those who might have missed the date. They can write it down. My brothers and sisters, here and in the virtual space, I greet you in the name of Jesus. These are the announcements for October the 22nd, 2023. Get your pens out. If you will be celebrating your birthday on, on, and anniversary this week, could you please stand? Anybody celebrating birthday or anniversary? No one here? Anyway, on behalf of our pastor, Reverend Dunchi, the Church and Pastors Council, to our viewers and members who are celebrating, stay blessed and enjoy your day. Happy birthday and anniversary to you. Booking on a Budget will be held here on the 3rd of November. Cancer Awareness Seminar is on October the 25th. More information will be provided for this venture. The, benev the, the Benevolent Ministry Cake Sale will be held on October the 27th. This, in, this is in aid of our Christmas, Christmas outreach. District Unity Fasting is on October the 24th. Stewardship Sunday will be celebrated next week. Next week, Sunday, the 29th of October, and also that day, as Pastor said, will be baptism, baptismal service in the morning at Caymanis Park. Rally. Gregory Park New Testament Church of God has invited us to their rally. This will be held on October the 27th, 2023 at 7 p.m. The men's choirs asked to prepare themselves to attend. Our rally will be, that's the Duane Park rally, will be held on the 31st of this month. If you would like to be a part of the rally choir, please come out for a rehearsal on Sunday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Papi New Testament Church of God rally will be also on the 27th. The dedication of babies is done every first Sunday. Please collect and complete your form with a payment of $200. A copy of your child's birth certificate should be submitted one week before. Members, if you have changed your personal information, please collect a membership update Membership update form from Sister Christine and submit it as soon as possible. Thanks for the great job you have done so far with selling the anniversary tag drive. Please continue to make your submission as the outstanding funds are needed ASAP. Look out! For our anniversary tokens at the special order table today. The table is supposed to be on that side. Anniversary t-shirts, polos, and jersey, and key rings are available for orders. The anniversary t-shirt can be worn for different activities such as our upcoming Friends Day. Key rings can be purchased for personal use as well as gift items for family friends, co-workers for birthday, Christmas, and special occasion. And if you don't have the cash with you, we have our point of sale machine. So just take out your card and we'll take off the amount of money we need. As Pastor said, the National, National Women's Week begins today. It's today to the 27th and on Tuesday will be face to face, and the other days will be on Zoom. Next week, Sunday, on the 28th of October, 
is a Thanksgiving service for mother of dear sister Anglin in the Westmoreland. A bus will be leaving here at 7.30 a.m. Sharp at a cost of $3,000. Persons are asked to submit their names today. So Sister Diana Brown or Brother Hyman, no later than Tuesday so that the size bus can be on firm. Thought for the day. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. God bless you. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. Thank you so much, Brother Leon McBean and Sister Nadine Swaby. At this time, we'll have a special item from our praise kids. Make them welcome.
3 verse 10 bring your host bring your tithe into the store into the into the house of the lord and prove him if he will not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing and also also the scripture which says he that sow it sparingly will reap sparingly and he that sow it bountifully will also reap bountifully and i said god you are my only source i don't see any other way how i can fund this trip and i remember it was at the national convention new testament church of god national convention i decided to sow a seed so it was at that time it was less than two months to the trip and i remember i got i got my salary and i said okay god i'm gonna take out my tithe and i took out a few bills the payment for a few bills and i said god i'm gonna prove you I didn't know how I was going to go to work for the next month in terms of lunch money, transportation, or anything like that. And at that time, I had, had I sold, I think it was maybe $70,000. I think, yeah, I think that's the figure at the time. I sold $70,000. And I mean, to the average person, that would have seemed like a very foolish, a, a very foolish decision to make. But I said, God, I'm going to prove you. I'm going to take you at your word. And long story short, I remember two weeks or three weeks after I sowed that seed, someone called me and they told me that my trip and my accommodation, the cost for my trip and my accommodation have been sponsored in full. And I just praise God for that. And the cost of the trip was over $200,000. And the Lord provided. And I remember that trip. I've never been on a trip overseas and I've traveled with so much spending money. I went overseas and I shopped, shopped till I dropped. <laughs> and I still returned to Jamaica with US to spare. And I was able to cover even some expenses out here. And I didn't have any loan to repay. And I'm just saying that God is really faithful, you know? Once you trust and obey, he will come through. God bless you. You hold my every moment. You, you come my raging seas. You walk with me through fire. You heal all my disease. You hold. See? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could you stand with me, church? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we look to God for, for his touch, his outpouring today on the congregation. Hallelujah. 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 Just grab a hold of someone today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe God. You're my healer. I believe that you are more than enough for me. I believe that you are my portion today. Hallelujah. God, we lift you up. We lift you up, God. From this congregation. We lift you up from the dwelling power, New Testament Church of God today. We lift you up, God. We shabak you. Hallelujah. We barak you, God. We zamar you. We tehil you. We lift you up, God. We declare, God, that there is no one like you. We declare, God, that you are more than enough for us today. We declare, God, that you are my healer. We declare that you are my deliverer. We declare that you are my restorer. You are more than enough for us today. Hallelujah. You specialize. Oh God in things that are impossible. You specialize in healing. And we declare that healing is for all today. Healing is for all today. God Almighty, if there's any, if there's anyone here, God, under the ear of, oh God, this microphone, whether you're online or you're here face to face, and you are not well, I pray, God, that you will just extend your faith today. Lift your faith today, God. Lift your faith to the Almighty God. He is the giver of life today. Lord, we declare you holy. We declare you worthy, God. You may be suffering, God. You may be suffering from a long time with that condition. You may be suffering from cancer, leukemia, diabetes, hypertension, pain in the back, pain in the head, pain in the foot, pain in the joints, all kind of condition today. But we declare that you are healed today. We declare that you are the heal of God. We declare that you are the heal of God today. God Almighty, we declare a wholesomeness over this congregation. God, like that leper, the tenth leper, only one returned, the ninth leper returned. And that leper was able to receive wholesomeness. So we declare it with the same spirit. We declare wholesomeness over this congregation today. We declare that your people are healed. Your people are well. If there's anyone, Lord, with any financial crisis today, we declare a breakthrough. We declare a breakthrough over you today. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. We declare that your, your account and your, oh God, your wallets and your purses and your bags are blessed today. They are blessed today. They are blessed today. We declare that, oh God, unmerited favor will release to you today. God, remember your people today. You cannot outgive God. As you heard that testimony, you cannot outgive God. There is no way that you can outgive God. You could give the last dime, Almighty God. Lord, we declare 
over the shuttings today. We declare, oh God, oh, over the sick and the elderly today. We declare wholesomeness, healing, deliverance, restoration over this congregation. Oh God, we declare, oh God, a godly, a godly protection over our pastor, even as he gone out to minister. We declare the anointing of God will follow him. Even now, even now, even now, even now, we declare you worthy, we declare you holy in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you thanks and we give you praise in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Before you take your seat, hallelujah. I just want you to join me in this declaration. Hallelujah. Someone, somebody say to your neighbor, if what you have is not what you need, it is your harvest, it is your seed. It's not your harvest, it is your seed. Neighbor, seed time is not a sad time. It's not a selfish time. It is shouting time. Come on, look at your seed. Look at the seed. Take out your seed. Take out that seed in your hand right now. Take out that seed in your hand. And I want you to personally declare to that seed right now. Say after me, seed, you might leave my hands, but you will not leave my life. As of today, I am your employer. You are the employee. I am your master. You are the servant. Now go and work for me in Jesus' name. Lift your hands and shout and give it to God. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus right now as I invite the ushers to come.
Shall we praise the Lord? Um, at this time, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of our brother Shane Christie, who is visiting with us from overseas. Shane, where are you? Wave your hand. See him at the back. Welcome. Now we'll have a selection from our youth choir, after which... The praise and worship team will come to us. Then we'll have a moment in word from our minister, Kenesha Robinson, our very own Kenesha Robinson. And this is where I take my leave, church. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Thank you so much for allowing me to serve you today. Hallelujah. Come on, worship the Lord in the house. Come on, you can do much better. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles If you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lie If you're trying to feel the same old holes inside There's a better life There's a better life If you got pain is a pain if you feel lost, if you feel lost, he's a way.
things we know just ain't right. And there's a better life. And there's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify, testify. Sing if you believe it, you believe it, you receive it. Testify, testify. If you believe it, you believe it. You receive it, you receive it. I know you can feel it, if you can feel it. Somebody testify, testify. If you believe it, if you believe it, you receive it, you receive it. You can feel it, you can feel it. Somebody testify. Can we do that one more time? If you He's a chain breaker. 
He's a chain breaker. He's a chain breaker. He's a chain breaker. Come on, declare it. He's a chain breaker. He's a chain breaker. He's a chain. He's a chain breaker. He's a chain breaker. He's a chain breaker. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. We thank you, God, that you're a chain breaker. We thank you, God, that you're a healing God. We thank you, God, that through you there is deliverance. Hallelujah. Oh, God, what an awesome presence in the house of the Lord today. We worship you, God. We thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is one of my all-time favorites. And we just want to take it back a little. Hallelujah. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory. just bless you this morning God there is just none like unto you Jesus we just worship your holy name this morning God because you are so good 
Aleluia Everybody sing Bless the Lord Bless the Lord Oh my soul Oh my soul I worship your Every day and night, never any prayer. 
Dunchi and his wife in their absence, the church and pastors council, the musicians, uh, the praise and worship team, our moderator who have done such a good job, you our members here and in the virtual space, uh, I greet you well in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Please oblige me to welcome two persons that are here for the first time. Mr. Robinson, kindly wave your hand. He's at the back. And uh, 
Leandio, or Minister Leandio Spence from the Power of Faith Church in Portmore. And of course, Brother Shane, welcome back to your church. Praise God. So my brothers and sisters, I heard a story about a woman. Her name is Eleanor. She spent most of her life in a cottage in the hills. Content with the solitude and tranquility it offered, one chilly winter evening as she sat by her fireplace, sipping tea and reading a novel, a series of insistent heavy knocks echoed through the cottage. Startled, Eleanor set her book aside and made her way to the front door. The knocks continued, firm and unhealing, almost urgent in their insistence. She cautiously opened the door to find a stranger. He explained that he had been hiking in the woods and had lost his way. With darkness failing and falling and no shelter in sight, he had come upon Eleanor's little cottage, cottage as a last hope for refuge. Eleanor, my brothers and sisters, couldn't turn him back because the night was cold. She invited him inside and offered him a warm meal and a place by the fire. As the night passed, the two shared stories and a bond formed. The persistent knocks had brought an, an, un, an unexpected guest into Eleanor's life. The insistent knocks that had startled her at first hand in the end brought warmth and companionship to her cottage. What an invitation. Today, my brothers and sisters, I want to talk to you about the great invitation. Not an invitation like Eleanor's or a wedding invitation, but a great invitation. As we embarked on a journey into Revelation 3, 14 to 22, which was already read by my little baby Larissa, I hope you followed and uh, I will not read it over. Please bow your heads, my brothers and sisters, while I pray. Father, Abba, Father, my God, we thank you for your word, your guidance, and your correction. As we explore this passage today, we ask that you open our hearts and minds to understand and apply these truths in our lives. Help us, Abba Father, always to be faithful. And when we stray, remind us of your love and your desire for us to turn back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. The Apostle John, my brothers and sisters, wrote the book of Revelation based on a vision he had while he was on the island of Patmos. His primary audience was the seven churches in the region of Western Asia Minor, each of whom were addressed in the vision. In Revelation chapter 2 and 3, we see the church of Ephesus, who was known as the Black Backslidden Church. In, we also see the church in Smyrna, who was known as the persecuted church. The church at Pergamos was known as the licentious church. The church at Theatera was known as the lax church. The church at Sardis was known as the dead church. The church at Philadelphia was known as a forward, a favored church. And the church at Laodiciana was known as the lukewarm church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In Revelation 3, 14 to 22, we see God's loving correction of the church in Laodicea. 
It's a reminder of the blessing that comes from a faithfulness to God and his word. And the open invitation he extends to us toward to turn towards him. The church at Laodicea was a prominent church. Laodicea, my brothers and sisters, was recognized as a significant commercial center. And its products were distributed globally. Laodicea took pride in their financial prosperity, textile industry, and their popular ISELV that was exported worldwide. The leaders of Laodicea consistently lean toward negotiation and compromise when dealing with potential adversaries. In addition, their primary water source extended over a six-mile channel from the hot springs of Hierapolis. Since the water, my brothers and sisters, came from so far to reach to Laodicea, it arrived with a lukewarm and an unappetizing temperature. Oh, God. In an article written by a microbiologist, uh, it is recorded that every year around 2.4 million people in the UK get food poisoning. Uh, the author advises that we should always avoid lukewarm food uh, as bacteria that cause ba food poisoning can grow quickly on them. In addition to that, my brothers and sisters, uh, if you're cooking food and you miss some key ingredients, uh, it will taste unappetizing. If you are making a cup of tea or coffee and you did not put the right amount of sweetener in it, uh, and if the water is lukewarm, it will taste unappetizing. My friend said it will taste like dirty water. A hey God. You can imagine why it is spit out. Ah, oh, good God Almighty. My brothers and sisters, the church in Laodicea are described as lukewarm, neither hot nor cold. A state that is so displeasing to God that he declares, I am about to spit you out, out of my mouth. They were not hot nor were they cold. They were in a dangerous middle ground, a state of spiritual apathy, of compromise and self-glorification that God finds repugnant. The church in Laodicea presents a vivid picture of a community that has lost its spiritual fervor. My brothers and sisters, uh, when we are hot for Jesus, uh, we are zealous, uh, fervently serving God. Uh, we are following God wholeheartedly. We are living out our passion and dedication. Uh, we are dressing right, uh, walking right, uh, talking right, uh, reading the Bible from cover to cover. We are fasting regularly. We are praying daily and we're singing like Jeremy and Edwards, uh, Holy Spirit, walk with me. Uh, I don't want to feel your presence only when I'm in a church. Uh, this temple must stay clean. Uh, flesh must die. Uh, spirit must be seen. Uh, glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, uh, God. When I just got baptized, my brothers and sisters, I was on fire for Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, everywhere I went, uh, I was telling somebody about Jesus. Uh, oh, God, I was just so in love. Uh, I was at church every day of the week uh, and three times on Sunday. I was in everything. Uh, it took me four months, my brothers and sisters, uh, to read the New Testament. Uh, and another six months, my brothers and sisters, uh, to read the Old Testament. Uh, my pastor gave me a commentary. And he said, Ken, oh God, I hope you will grow as fast as you're reading. Oh, good God Almighty, my brothers and sisters. I thought I was singing as well, never get weary yet. However, my brothers and sisters, uh, somewhere down the line, uh, I got weary. I was going to church. Uh, I was taking part in church service. Uh, I was being busy, uh, but I lost my spiritual fervency. Uh, I became cold and complacent. Uh, the zeal was not there. 
Oh my God, my brothers and sisters, oh God, or even my brothers and sisters, you have it all, a good education, enough money in your account, the dream house, the white picket fence, the lovely family, the dream husband, the dream car, the dream children, the dream hat, the dream clothes, the dream dress, oh good God Almighty, the dream shoes. You are the dog bow and the cat's meow. But guess what my brothers and sisters. When it comes on to the spiritual things you are distant. Your faith is weak. Oh good God almighty you are lacking interest. You come to Bible study but you are not at Bible study. You come to church but you are not at church. Oh good God almighty you have lost the commitment. The first for the word of God uh, you are not actively engaged with God uh, or service to others uh, I can imagine it was the same thing for the ladies and church my brothers and sisters oh good God almighty but hear what Jesus says uh, hear what the amen says uh, hear what the so be it says uh, hear what the it is done says uh, hear what the Emmanuel God with us says uh, oh God he said uh, much like the water you drink uh, that doesn't have an appealing temperature your faith exhibits lukewarmness uh, indicating a sense of apathy and compromise Oh God, in this spiritual context, my brothers and sisters, uh, lukewarmness represents a state uh, where one attempts to balance between uh, being moderately committed uh, and not entirely disinterested. Uh, going to church, uh, doing the church activity, uh, active in ministry, oh God, as I was doing, uh, but distant. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. If you are not guilty, that is okay. But if you are guilty like myself, shout hallelujah. Oh, good God Almighty. While trying to play this dual role, Laodicean church find themselves in a state of spiritual emptiness, leading to a strong warning from Jesus Christ himself. He said, I will reject you. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Many of us find ourselves in a state of spiritual indifference. A state where we are not fervently committed to our faith. A state of compromise. Wanting to fit in. I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to hurt her. So I am following what they are saying. Oh God, or because she's doing it, I am doing it. Gossiping has become the order of the day. Embracing a certain lifestyle and dress. Wanting to be accepted. So we compromise our faith. Accepting that it is okay to teach my child the full gamut of sex education. So they come and they tell me that they are day shim or queer. Oh God, my God, my God. Accepting the money from the scammer or the extortionist. Uh, lying, my brothers and sisters. Uh, cheating, my brothers and sisters. Uh, fornicating, my brothers and sisters. Uh, stealing and spending time on WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Snapshot and Facebook. Uh, but no time for prayer meeting. Uh, no time for Bible study. Uh, no time for your own personal devotion. Uh, oh God, no time to visit the sick. Uh, no time to call someone and say I'm praying for you or with you. Hallelujah. We're only available to come to church on Sunday because we have too much work to do. We have homework, we have husband work, we have children work, we have school work, we have work work, and we have church work. But no time to spend one hour in prayer. Oh God, if you are guilty, you have shut Jesus out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your everyday faith, my brothers and sisters, lacks. 
zeal. You are lukewarm. You are on the edge. Struggling to maintain spiritual equilibrium. Where you embrace a passionate faith. And avoid falling into spiritual bankruptcy. Jesus could even be saying that uh, we lack the core fervor of faith uh, but have superficially heated up uh, when it comes to Sunday morning. Uh, oh God Almighty, we come to Sunday school uh, and then we go to divine service uh, or we come to divine service and leave out Sunday school uh, and we are at FTH on Monday at women's ministry and men's ministry on Tuesday. Bible, Bible study on Wednesday. Choir practice and prayer and worship on Thursday, youth fellowship on Friday, performing hearts on Saturday. Oh, God Almighty, but you don't have any time to spend with God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, God, alternately, he might be implying that uh, once uh, that they once had a fervent faith, uh, but have cooled down due to complacency. We think we reach self-sufficiency oh god we get a little touch of the holy ghost uh, and we speak two tongues our one word baba 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 and we say yes we feel uh, and we don't want to move past baba 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 oh god cause we feel already good god almighty oh god we don't have no time for god uh, oh god we self-sufficient we have it all uh, oh god one time you get a little vision and you say yes me have it uh, oh god almighty we're too distracted with the social media. Oh God, we're too distracted with all of the ministry work. We're too distracted with all the competitions. We're too distracted. But we have no time, my brothers and sisters, to spend one hour, one intimate hour, one dege dege hour with Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters. Oh God Almighty, today it's all too easy for us to become like the Laodicean church. Described in Revelation 3, 14 to 22. Many of us might be living life like that. At first glance, my brothers and sisters will look like we have it all together. But we lack depth. We lack root. We lack substance and authenticity. Hallelujah. Oh, God Almighty. We attend church. We say our prayers. We walk around with our big Bibles and we pretend or we look like we have it all together. But is our faith truly burning? Oh God, is our faith truly burning with passion? Or have we allowed it to simmer down to a lukewarm state? Or are we singing simmer down? Simmer down, good God Almighty. Oh God, simmer down. But no simmer down around here. Oh God Almighty, somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God, no simmer down. Much like the Laodicean church who believe themselves to be wealthy prosperous and lacking nothing uh, we may find ourselves in a era of self-sufficiency where material wealth uh, passing for the best school uh, doing pep and gsat uh, getting the top education uh, the big job uh, technological advancement uh, and a comfortable lifestyle uh, and driving two three four vehicles uh, can create a deceptive uh, sense of security our faith can become lukewarm when we rely solely on our own abilities and resources, mistakenly thinking that we have no need for spiritual revival. My brothers and sisters, I don't depend on myself not even to walk. I say, Father, help me walk. Everything, my brothers and sisters, I don't depend on my own abilities. So don't make the fool, don't fool yourself, my brothers and sisters. We can't do it alone. We need Jesus. Oh God, nevertheless, just as the Laodicean church received a reprimand from Christ, we too should engage in introspection. 
It can leave our lives, my brothers and sisters, uh, feeling hollow and unsatisfied. Mm. Distas distancing ourselves uh, from the role as followers of Christ and the abundant life he, com he promises. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, I was in a state of spiritual complacency. And this I recognized and I said to the Lord, do with me as you please, mighty God. And for nine months, my brothers and sisters, uh, I went through the rigors. Uh, and next time I give you that testimony, the Lord showed me the state of my heart. Good God Almighty, it never looked good. Oh God Almighty, my brothers and sisters, it was hard to acknowledge what the Lord was saying to me. Oh God, but I had to learn to clean up my heart. Oh God, it was a very painful thing to do. I said to Sister Shanice recently, I said, Shana, I get saved. I get saved, Shana. I don't want to go back there, so so work with me, Sister Shan. Oh, good God Almighty, me get saved, my brothers and sisters. Oh, God, but I had to go through the process. I had to learn, my brothers and sisters, I had to learn to evangelize in my pain. I remember I was asked to preach at a church, and the topic was on complaining, my brothers and sisters. And in nine months, God, the Lord stripped me. Oh, God, there was need to complain. But I could not complain because I was telling people, don't complain. So I learned not to complain, my brothers and sisters. I went through nine months of hard labor. It was not pretty. Oh God Almighty and for those who were pregnant uh, and have children, I can imagine because my nine months of spiritual pain it was not pretty. Hey God. Hallelujah. Oh God so much when I was going through my stress, my nine months of hard labor, my friend said oh God as a matter of fact Sophia turned to me and she said Ken I don't even want to see your shoes, much less be walking on it. Oh, God, it was so bad, my brothers and sisters. It was so bad. But God. But God, my brothers and sisters. And today I can tell you that there is hope. There is hope, my brothers and sisters. There is hope. There is hope, my brothers and sisters. Somebody shout, there is hope. There is hope. Hallelujah. Just as Christ provided guidance to the Laodiceans, he extends a way out of spiritual complacency to us, my brothers and sisters. He did it for me. He encourages us to purchase gold refined by fire symbolizing by faith a faith that has been purified through trials and challenges he offers us white garments to conceal our spiritual nakedness oh god he offers us eyes solve because some of us are spiritually blind so we can see my brothers and sisters granted us insight into the plans and purposes of our lives we're talking about the great invitation. Oh God. In Revelation 3.20 when Jesus said. Behold I stand at the door and knock. He desire, his desire, my brothers and sisters, uh, was not for merely passive listeners uh, or half-hearted followers uh, or unbelieving believers. Uh, he wanted to transform uh, the life of his people, including you and I, uh, from spiritual blindness, uh, from lukewarmness uh, and compromise uh, to becoming fully devoted, uh, fervently following Christ. Behold, in the original language means perceive, see, or in Jamaican parlance, we may say, hey, could I watch you? Look here, no man. Jesus is, depict, is depicted uh, as the one who seeks to enter into our lives uh, by patiently knocking at the door. The hymn says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Uh, knock and it shall be open. Uh, at the, and God is knocking at your door right now. Uh, oh God, and the song, my brothers and sisters, uh, reinforces the idea of Christ uh, and the stranger at the door at Eleanor's door in the cottage. 
the door can be open. The door, my brothers and sisters, it can be open. But guess what? It can only be open from inside. <laughs> oh, God Almighty, the stranger couldn't open Eleanor's door from outside. And Jesus cannot open the door from outside. The, oh, God Almighty, the stranger could not open the door from outside. Oh, God. Oh, God. The door can only be opened from the inside. Jesus is not going to force himself in. Come here, sister Stacy and sister. Ten or somebody. Oh, God Almighty, hold the two in. Oh, God Almighty. Jesus is not going to force himself in. Come, come. He's not going to force himself. This is the door, my brothers and sisters. Drama or somebody, give me a knock. Oh, God, a little knock. A little knock. So Jesus is knocking. He's knocking. Oh, God Almighty. Marvet is on the other side. I wonder if our mind, or if it's, or if, or if she go crazy, or if a pastor, she hears something, or she wonder how I go on with her. But Jesus a knock. Oh, God, Jesus is knocking. He's not going to try and climb over the door. He's not going to peep around to get to Marvin. He's not going to push down the door to go to Marvet. Marvet has to open the door. Open the door for me, Marvet. Open the door, Marvet. That is what Jesus is saying. You don't get it, not true. Mighty God, hey God, hey God, hallelujah, hey God, la da da ba sa, hey God, li da 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 ba ba kutor li de bebe kisi, ri ba kutor la na kwasate, hey God, I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, the knock is there. Oh God, if you're unsafe, the knock is there. If you're a Christian and you're kind of lukewarm, the knock is there. Oh God, will you let him in, my brothers and sisters? Hey, Riba Satela. Hey, God. Hear what Jesus says. If anyone, if anyone, he never said, do any part in your testament, Sister Claudette. He never said, Montego be in your testament, Sister Claudette. He never said, Power of Faith, Sister Claudette. Good God Almighty. He never said, EPR, Sister Claudette. Oh God, he never said it. He said, if anyone, that mean you, Sister Claudette. That mean you, Shania. That mean you, my sister. Oh, good God Almighty. If anyone... If anyone hear my voice and open the door, good God Almighty, and invite Jesus in. Oh God. Oh God. Oh good God Almighty. Oh God, this is what he's saying. Oh God, you have to invite him in. That's a great invitation, you know. I know you, I know him, I go pop down the door. I know him, I go do it. Oh God, what a God we serve. Oh God, one of my favorite hymns is Softly and Tenderly Jesus is calling. Calling for you and for me. See on the portal. He's watching and waiting. Waiting for you and for me. He wants to come in, my brothers and sisters, and eat with us. He wants communion. He wants fellowship and relationship with you. Will you invite him in? Oh God, we see the story I began with, with Eleanor. Letting in the stranger. And they developed a bond and I had a sweet communion. Oh God, I can imagine the sweet fellowship that, we, that I will have with Jesus. And you will have with Jesus if you let him in. Oh God, we will be singing, break thou the bread of life. Dear Lord to me, as thou didst break the bread beside the sea, beyond the sacred page, I see the Lord. Lord, my spirit, my spirit, pants for thee, O living word. Oh, good God Almighty. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house. What a sweet communion. What sweet fellowship. Oh, God Almighty. But I want to tell somebody 
Oh God, you can't enjoy the sweet communion. You can't enjoy the sweet communion with a locked heart. You can't, my brothers and sisters. It is okay for us to empty ourselves before God. It is better when he reveals to us the content and state of our heart. The process is not easy, but don't lock your heart. I heard this story about a young lady who I will call Sarah, who was deeply hurt. Her childhood was full of trauma. She was abundant, bully, raped, betrayed, heartbroken. Over time, the pain caused her to close her heart. She was struggling. She was trapped. Despite her past wounds and the fear that had encased her heart so that she closed it, she longed for healing and a way to feel and a way to break free from the chains of her past. Little did she know that there was hope for her and that the love of Christ would reach even the coldest, most guarded heart. And that Revelation 3 verse 20 held the promise of transformation for her life. Maybe she was singing, change my heart, oh God, make it ever true. Or just as I am without one plea. Or maybe she was singing, my shackles are broken. I am delivered. My shackles are broken. I've been set free. Shackles are broken. Oh, God can break those shackles today, my brothers and sisters. I am delivered. Oh, God, open your heart to Jesus today, my brothers and sisters. My shackles are broken. Yeah. I've been set free. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, open the door of your heart to Jesus through faith and obedience. Open the door today. If you're facing a crisis, open that door. If you're facing a crisis, open that door. Oh God, God is faithful. He will provide. He will guide you through every difficult moment. Trust his words. They are yea and amen. When I was going through my nine months of hard labor, I trusted the word of God. I believe he would come true. I would say if the apostle Paul can do it, so can I. I'm a brazen enough, my brothers and sisters. And on my DP, you will see, you will see KTR, the disciple that Jesus loved. John was, faith, was I want to say cocky. Faith was claimed sitting in kind of show off with it. Say, the disciple that Jesus loved. He, he show off him. So now me, me can't say to. So Kenny Shatasha Robinson, the disciple that Jesus love. Oh God Almighty. And if Paul can say, oh God, the verse in, in 1 Corinthians 69, for a wide door for effective work has opened for me and there are many adversaries. All it is saying is that Paul is saying, regardless of the adversaries that I am going through, I am going to stand firm. And if Paul can say it, me can't say it too, cause him no more than me. Him a man like myself. Good God Almighty, somebody open the door. Open the door of your heart, my brothers and sisters. Somebody open the door. Hallelujah. Hey God, that us Hey God, I want to tell you, don't mind him, my baby. All of us used to run up and down to. The boy Samuel was sleeping in the inner sanctuary. 
he heard the voice of God and thought it was Eli. We often make the same mistake and confuse the utterances of Christ himself with the speech of men or our mind. Probably me hear Pastor Dunchi say it. Our sister Tim. Our sister Claudette. Yes, man, me hear it already. But the voice of God is speaking to you, oh God. But don't confuse the utterances of Christ uh, with man. Uh, oh God Almighty, or your mind, uh, recognize who it is uh, that is pleading uh, and knocking at your heart door. Uh, and don't fancy it, but it's a man uh, or your voice, oh God. Uh, oh God, like Samuel uh, says, speak, Lord, because it's not easy. Eli, it is Jesus Christ himself knocking at their heart door. Somebody say, speak, Lord. Lord. Speak, Lord. Lord. Oh, God Almighty, lift up your heads. Oh, he gets and be he lifted up. He everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in. Somebody say, speak, Lord. Oh, God Almighty, speak, Lord. Oh, God, if you're telling God to speak, that means you're willing to open the door. Oh, God, open the door. Oh, God, open the door. Oh, God, when they're having some political campaign, they say, fly the gate. Oh, God, you can't be too passive. Oh, God, somebody fly the gate. The king of glory is at the gate. He's at your heart door. Fly the gate. Now wait until tomorrow. Oh, God, you know, promise to me. And you know, promise to you. Good God Almighty. Oh, God, when I saw my mother, she was alive. And the next couple of hours, she was dead. He never promised to her. I see her the night. And the next morning, she did. He never promised to you. Oh, God Almighty, it's not a guilt trip, this, my brothers and sisters. Oh, God, but we're living in a time where we have to prepare. Sometimes I see them driving on the road. I think that they're on a suicidal mission. And they want to carry me with them. Or they want to do a 9-11. And me say, not with me, devil. So me come out 6 o'clock, so me no meet up with them. So I come out 5 sometime. Because <laughs> me say, not with me, devil. Go on, if you want to commit suicide. My purpose no fulfill yet. A whole heap of soul need to come to Jesus. A whole heap of gate need to fly. The a whole heap of gate. Oh, God Almighty. Open the door, my brothers and sisters. Open the door. Don't close the door. Like the Laodiceans, we can shut the door of our heart, you know. Due to spiritual complacency, self-reliance, worldly destruction, we distracted so till. Oh, God Almighty, everything that we are praying, we remember, say, we have the food on the fire. Or we remember, say, oh, you know, say, Sister Claudette did call me, I need to call her back. Oh, God, you know, on call. And you know, doctor. And even if you're a doctor, you need to spend time with Dr. Jesus. So you can help Sister Claudette some more. Oh, good God Almighty. Oh, God, somebody shout hallelujah in the house. Oh, God, we get too distracted, man. The work pressure turn up. We have too much things that do our work. And the work that then we have this for doing, we have that for doing, we can't spend that. A little hour with Jesus, my brothers and sisters. Oh, God, we must cultivate we must cultivate a heart. He hard, you know. He hard. Me know say hard. But sacrifice. Hey, sacrifice, man. I'll share something with you, my brothers and sisters. Anytime, you know, I have a, I have a lecture. Leander is my classmate. And sometimes I get upset when sir pass in the 9 o'clock, you know. Because I want to sleep or I need to go do my prayer. And sir, I take up the time. And Leander is not, is not, is not making it easier either. Because he's going on and on too, like, like sir. And sometimes it bother me, man. Me get angry. And I wonder, sir, no, that I'm taking out my frustration on him. But me want to go pray, man. And me want to have a little time with Jesus. I have a whole heap of things to do in our brothers and sisters. Sometimes I don't even know how I manage. But I spend time with Jesus. And it's when I spend the two hours or the three hours or the one hour with Jesus. And give me speed for the rest of things. Them. Everything just I got through. The other day I was... 
a part of the thing, the presentation for the National Department. And I was doing that, and somebody else from National asked me to do something. I have this whole heap of work to do, and this person calling, that person, but guess what, man? Guess when you spend time with Jesus. It don't, and you don't even know when it don't. Spend time, my brothers, and then I have this, this homework that I don't know a thing where teacher I teach about Greek. And may I tell her brothers and sisters, my last three quarters of the time, I'm in the class. But no, that is a lie. Probably 100% of the time, I am lost. I have to go back over it because he's so good. And I love Greek, you know, may I tell you, but sometimes I last bad. I last man. We must cultivate, my brothers and sisters, a time where we spend time with Jesus. Spend time with him. It's an act of faith and humility. It's a great invitation when you invite Jesus into your space. Oh, God. Don't compromise your convictions, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Don't compromise. Amen. I love stories, you know. So if I'm going to tell you a story, I'm going to tell you about myself. Right? Because God put me through nine months of everything. So I can't talk about it. All right, my brothers and sisters, I'll share it with you another time. Because everything, may I tell you. Everything. Oh, God. I heard this story, my brothers and sisters, about David. And I could use my a manager I had, but I'm using David at work. Oh God, he often stays at work, he often stays silent when inappropriate conversation occur or when moral, moral values clash with his faith. He doesn't want to offend his colleagues or jeopardize his job. Some of us guilty. So he compromises his faith and his beliefs and keeps silent. Me not see nothing, me not hear nothing. Right? The situation reflects the danger Jesus was addressing in Revelation 3, 20. Christ doesn't want us to live a lukewarm faith where we are neither hot nor cold, compromising on our convictions to fit in with the world. He wants us to take a position, take a stand, if even if it means challenging the opposition. As David reflected on Jesus' gentle knock at the door of his heart, he realizes that he needs to change. He needs to change um, what his behavior and uh, what he did, my brothers and sisters, he did a self-introspection and he went to the Lord and he decided he's not going to do it again. Yes. Thank you. Amen. He said he was not going to do it again. I can imagine it was not hard. It was not easy for David. Yes. So in doing so, he opened the door wider to Jesus, inviting him in to every aspect of his life and experiencing a profound transformation in his faith and witness. In our own lives, my brothers and sisters, we too may encounter situations where we are tempted to compromise our faith to please the world. Jesus' gentle knock reminds us to stand firmly on our Christian principles, to open the door wide to him, and to be faithful and unwavering in our commitment to Christ, saying no to compromise at all times, my brothers and sisters. The main point is that the responsibility of opening the door for Christ to enter one's life lies within you and I. David opened the door. He recognized that the door can only be opened from within. And to do nothing, my brothers and sisters, to not open the door like how Marvet did just stand up and look so before she opened the door, is to lock out Jesus and to keep Jesus Christ outside. And this is a tragic mistake that we make, my brothers and sisters. The passage also highlights that when Christ does enter, he comes as a guest, willing to partake in even the humblest offerings. And is pleased, my brothers and sisters, with sincere love and devotion, even from those who consider themselves unworthy. Remember the story of Eleanor and the stranger. In this passage, my brothers and sisters, we see as well a clear invitation from God to the church in Laodicea and by extension to us to turn back to him. The language used, my brothers and sisters, is rough, you know? It sounds bad. Yes, it's stern, but it is loving. 
And it is a reflection of God's character as a loving father who disciplines his children for their own good. He calls them out for their lukewarm faith, their complacency, and their self-sufficiency. They are neither hot nor cold in their fate. And this lukewarmness is so distasteful to God that he says he's about to speak them out of his mouth. The metaphor is a vivid depiction of God's dissatisfaction with a faith that is indifferent and lacks zeal. He tells the Laodiceans that they are wretched, pitiful poor, blind, and naked. These are harsh words, but they are meant not to, they are not meant to, to condemn. Uh, God, Jesus was not condemning them, neither is he condemning you. Instead, they are meant to awaken the Laodicean uh, and us, my brothers and sisters, uh, to our true spiritual condition uh, without God. He counsels them to buy from him gold refined in the fire, white clothes to wear, and salt to put on their eyes. Uh, these metaphors represent the true riches uh, that comes from a relationship with God, uh, the righteousness that comes from faith in Christ, uh, and the spiritual insight that comes from the Holy Spirit. Uh, in it, in it is then made clear in verse 19 and 20, my brothers and sisters, uh, those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. Uh, so be earnest and repent. Uh, Jesus is saying, here I am. Uh, I stand at the door and knock. Uh, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person. And they with me, my brothers and sisters. This is a beautiful picture of God's grace and mercy. Despite our failings, uh, despite our our sinfulness sometime, uh, the mistakes would have made. Uh, he is standing at the door of our hearts uh, and is knocking uh, and waiting uh, for us to invite in him. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The invitation is for all of us, my brothers and sisters. God is calling us to, from our lukewarm faith, uh, our complacency, and our self-sufficiency. He is inviting us uh, to find true riches, uh, righteousness, uh, and spiritual insight in him. Uh, he is knocking at the door of our hearts, uh, waiting for us to open it uh, and invite him in. Uh, and when we do, he promises to come and have fellowship with us. Hallelujah. Despite our sin and our failings, I can't stress it enough. God loves us and wants us to have a relationship with him. He is not distant, uncaring. Uh, God, he's not an uncaring God, but a loving father who disciplines us for our good and invites us to turn to him. And when we invite him in, my brothers and sisters, we find true riches, righteousness and spiritual insight uh, we find a loving father who wants to have fellowship with us uh, we find the true meaning and purpose of our lives Amen. hallelujah oh uh, god i hope i'm not boring you as i close today my brothers and sisters let's remember the powerful message from revelation 3 14 to 22 God's correction is not a punishment, but a loving invitation to turn to him. Oh, God, the great invitation. He stands at the door of our hearts, knocking, waiting for us to open and let him in. Let's strive, my brothers and sisters, to neither be hot nor cold in our faith. But let us be passionate, committed to our relationship with God. No compromise. Oh God, don't compromise. Remember that gentle knock is an invitation to an intimate relationship. You have an intimate relationship with your spouse. Have an intimate relationship with Jesus. I want him to talk to me all the time. A life-changing fellowship with the Lord of all creation. 
He's always present, waiting for us to open our hearts to him and invite him in. Like David, let us not compromise. Like Eleanor, open the door. Like Sarah, don't close the door. Let's learn from them, my brothers and sisters. Let us be vigilant, listening for his voice, and not thinking it is Eli, but it is the voice of God. Be courageous in opening the door of your hearts and welcome Jesus today, my brothers and sisters. As we do, we will experience the joy and fulfillment that come from dining with our Savior and deepening our relationship with the one who loves us beyond measure. Remember, my brothers and sisters, respond to his gentle knock today. And you'll discover the transformative work and power of his presence in your life. Regardless of the pain you're going through, my brothers and sisters, the sadness that you may be feeling, the rejection, the heartbreak, the financial stress, the husband stress, the workplace stress, the singleness stress, the verbal stress, the physical abuse, the children's stress, you may have been raped hated, criticized, you may even commit murder at some point or in the past, you may be a thief or a scammer, oh, God Almighty, you may be a humanizer, you may even be a cheat, a heartbreaker, and all these have led to you closing your heart to the gospel of Jesus Christ. But I want to tell you today that where there is a closed heart, there is a knocking Jesus. Oh God, Jesus is saying, behold, I stand at the door and knock. See, I stand at the door and knock. Here, I stand at the door and knock. Could I, him daddy door and knock? Watch you in daddy door. Amen. Will you let him in? If you are here, my brothers and sisters. And you want this sweet communion and fellowship with Jesus. Please come to the altar. If you are feeling that gentle knock at your heart. Please come to the altar. Even if you just want a little closer walk with Jesus. Come to the altar. Will you my brothers and sisters let him in? My brothers and sisters this is what the altar is for. You are not condemned. You cannot be condemned. The altar is for us to make it right with Jesus. Oh God, because when he comes, he will not be looking at you, Ronaldino. And I cannot say, it's Ronaldino, why I never got the altar? Because he's so prim and proper and eloquent. I worse can say, Sister Claudette, because she have an eye of an eagle. And she has see, and maybe she has to me do something. Listen, I know none of that. The altar is for you to draw closer to Jesus. Oh, good God Almighty, praise team. Please come and help me just as I am. My brothers and sisters, the young people sang earlier, if you got chain, he's a chain breaker. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you, if you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom, he's a prison shaking savior. There's a better life. Good God Almighty, my brothers and sisters, there's a better life with Jesus. The door is, you're hearing the little knock at your heart door right now, my brothers and sisters. Don't close it. Oh, good God Almighty, just as I am. Just as I am without one plea, but
just as I am, just as I am, and waiting not to read my soul, to read my Just tone down a bit, Sister Tamiko. I want to pray for you and Soleil. Please bring Soleil Lada Sata Rikuria. Bring Soleil for me. Lade Siora Basata. Oh God, when Jesus healed, ten persons, one come. So I'm grateful for the one. Amen, my brothers and sisters. brothers and sisters if you hear the word of the Lord and you hear the voice of the Lord don't turn your back up on him if you're a Christian and you're okay that's fine and if you're not saved and you're here I invite you please I beg come to Jesus please there's I have been there and done that my brothers and sisters but God oh God Almighty Oh God, the praise team, please home. Father, hey God, we worship you, Jesus. Father, these persons have come to the altar. And Father, I just want to place them in your hands right now, God. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you know their heart. You know their heart condition right now, God. So right now, God, I ask you to touch them at the point of their need. I ask you, mighty God, right now, God, to give them that peace to know that, God, you are not condemning them in them. Oh, God Almighty, I ask you, Father, oh, God, to strengthen their hearts and give them hope. Help them to know that when they trust you, they are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that they could ever ask or think or imagine because they're trusting in you mighty God oh God my brother that walked up oh God Almighty Father I place him in your hands Lord Jesus oh God Almighty it seem rough sometimes my brother but I want to tell you that there is hope in Jesus oh God Almighty and he will come through for you just hold on to his unchanging hands oh God he's saying right now he will never leave you nor forsake you oh god he said hold on my child joy comes in the morning oh god almighty you may be weeping now but joy comes in the morning hey don't give up hope hey god i hear joy comes in the morning my brother Yes, God, he must say, joy comes in the morning. Oh, God, you know, look the part. Oh, God, you know, fit the bill. But joy comes in the morning. Oh, God, I just love when God in a spirit mood are with me. Hey, God, I feel your presence, Jesus. Oh, Lamb of God, we come to you right now, God. Oh, God, Almighty God. Almighty. Hey God. Oh God Almighty. My sister in the blue. Now compare yourself. You are who you are. 
Oh, God and God can change the situation. Hey, God. Oh, God, he can flip the script. Hey, good God Almighty. He can flip the script. Oh, God, he raised Lazarus. And you know dead. And one not dead, no call it up here. They put her beside Soleil. He told them of the same issue. Or they might think the same issue. But put her beside Soleil. They might be lost battle. Oh God, Soleil, you're not leave here with a mindset there. Oh good God Almighty. Hey God. Oh God, my little girlfriend right here. So. Hey God. Mighty God. You are not too young to serve the Lord. Oh God, you is the time to serve the Lord, my girl. Oh God Almighty, He can turn the situation around. Oh God, when you put God first, we have children. When we tell them to put God first, and when they put God first, oh God, then they bright and then get bright. Oh God Almighty. And the family problem, God, I got to turn it around. Hey. Yes. God, I got to fix it. But you have to put him first. Put God first. My soul. Oh, To me, Soleil. Oh God, I come. I come. Oh God Almighty. The battle in the mind with Soleil. Soleil, the dream no real. Oh God Almighty, the dream no real. But we are canceling the effect of Reba Saturaba. Hey God, I know of God, Soleil. The devil won't mess up your mind. But this mind belong to Jesus. Oh God Almighty, so lay your mind belong to Jesus. Oh God Almighty, Father. Hey God, we put so in your hands. We put so in your hands, God. We put so in your hands. Oh God Almighty, God. I pray, Father, that you will release our mind. Oh God, the dream no real. The thoughts not real, so there. But I call upon God Almighty, the great physician, the sympathizing Jesus. She him can fix it, so there. God, I go fix it. Me don't want you to think about it again, so there. It is of the devil. You hear me, so there, so there. It is of the devil. No make nobody fool you. When you wake up with your dream, them silence them. Send them to the pit of hell, Sole. Send them to the pit of hell. Oh God Almighty Father, remember your daughter, Sole. A bright one, a promising one. No sickness shall come near Sole, body. I send them back to the pit of hell. And every altar with Sole name right on it for her to be sick, God. I silence that altar. I send Holy Ghost fire to it uh, to rip up, uh, to mash up, uh, to cancer, to nullify good God Almighty. Hey, God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty, to report. Oh, God Almighty, Father, right now, God. Father, I lift up Selena, the spirit realm to you. And God, I rip off. I rip off every thought where the enemy wants to learn. I rip them off, God. I rip them off, God. I mash them up, God. 
Lord Jesus. No girl now go look you. Oh God Almighty. You bear in the body. You bear in your body. The marks of Jesus Christ. So when they come near you, oh God, they must feel the effects of the Holy Ghost. Hey God. You go to school. And you go do well. Oh God Almighty. You're not going to turn she or queer. Oh God, you're going to be the same like how God make you. Oh God, same way. Oh God, I saw you come. I saw you go back. Hey God Almighty. Father, right now God. Help me with Salia God. Help me with Salia God. Lord God Almighty. Salia, don't make them mess up your mind. Oh God, I feel your mind Salia. Oh God, you feel Promotion, me say. Lord God Almighty, stay see elevation and promotion. A long time you didn't hear. A time the gate we fly. Oh, good God Almighty, fly the gate. Oh, God Almighty, somebody say fly the gate for Stacy. Oh, God Almighty, fly the gate. Oh, God Almighty, fly the gate. Oh, God Almighty, somebody shout hallelujah in the house. Oh, God. Sickness and cancer, my brothers and sisters. I take over the people them in the church. But right now, oh God Almighty, who can hold her? Anoint her for me, the sister Claudette. Because right now we are take authority. Come here with our someone. Let me anoint her. Oh God Almighty. Father, I place the blessing of God upon you. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and give you holy for peace. Oh God Almighty, you belong to Jesus. You belong to Jesus. Don't make nobody fool you. You belong to Jesus. Don't make nobody fool you. You belong to Jesus. <laughs> oh God, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Holy Ghost, help me. Oh God Almighty. Oh God. Oh God, she not get enough love sometimes. Somehow we not get enough love, you know. Oh God Almighty. Oh God Almighty. King Justin, shake me hand. You are going to be king in the physical and in the spiritual. All right, King Justin. Well behave. Oh God Almighty. I anoint you with the blessings of God. The Lord bless you and keep you. you come up here, so you don't need to follow somebody. You are leader for yourself. All right. You are leader. You are leader. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, God, if you know somebody with cancer, oh, God, I want you to stand in the gap for the person. Come over here, so for me. Oh, God, we're going to pray for them. If you know somebody with cancer and you want to stand in the gap for the person, oh, God, we are standing at the gap for them. Oh God, we are standing in the gap. Amen. We are standing in the gap. Amen. Hey God Almighty. We are standing at the gap, my brothers and sisters. Oh God, my brothers and sisters, my mother died of cancer. So no no things I may not know where me are talking about. It's a wicked sickness. Oh God Almighty. And no cancer around here. Me said no cancer. We are kicking him out and we are boxing him out here today. Oh God Almighty. Hey God. 
He said, no cancer. Help her, they help her, help her. Oh, God Almighty, no cancer. Oh, Father, we come before you, Lord Jesus. Father, we come before you. God, you are the art and finisher of our faith. God, you know us from before we were born in our mother's home. Oh, God Almighty, you say you know the very number of years that is on our head. Oh, God Almighty, it's a plot of the enemy. Oh, God, that's why some of us have cancer. Oh, God, we don't understand end times uh, and what is happening in these final days. is to wipe out some of us, but we better prepare. So when we time come, we're ready. And if the person where you know have cancer, we are praying for them so they know Jesus. Amen. Because that is the ultimate thing. Sister Colina, the ultimate thing. And we say no cancer. Oh God, we come before you right now, mighty God. And I place these people that is standing in the gap for somebody with cancer. Oh God Almighty, is there anything too hard for you, mighty God? Father, you are the amen. You are the great physician. You are the sympathizing Jesus. Mighty God, we come before you right now, God. And we ask your mighty God to release your presence your healing virtue your Jehovah Shalom oh God upon the life of your people right now God let there be a shift in the atmosphere let there be a shift in the stratosphere let there be a shift in their blood oh God their blood cells right now God Father when they go back to the doctor hey God doctor must say what happened but oh God doctor Jesus I put you on the case right now God and God I put you on the case and I ask you Abba Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth oh God I am just a vessel God God may I not nothing before you may I just a lump of clear God but God see your people here God see them yes before you God God they belong to you God Almighty walk in right now Prince Emmanuel Right in, Prince Emmanuel. Oh God, clean up their bloodline, mighty God. Oh God, clean up their bloodline, mighty God. Oh God Almighty. Oh God, change it from S to A. Oh God Almighty, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth name. Mighty God, every demon of cancer. Oh God, every cancer cell. We send Holy Ghost fire to it right now. And we command it to dry up. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we say dry up. Dry up from the road. Dry up. Dry up cancer cell. This body is the temple of the living God. So we say dry up. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty. Father you say. In a your word. You say at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess. Oh God cancer no nothing to your God. Cancer must bow. I say cancer bow. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God I say die in the name of Jesus Christ. I heap Holy Ghost fire. To every cancer patient. In the any part New Testament church of God. Oh God I say Holy Ghost fire. Somebody help me shout fire. Oh God fire. Oh God, fire! Lada sato, liku tora basata, riba baba koso tora, ne 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 kese te lada ba. We say fire for the enemy, fire for cancer. Oh God Almighty, oh God Almighty, I send fire to every sea. I send fire to every air. I send fire to every end. I send fire to every sea. I send fire to every ear. I send Holy Ghost fire to every hour. Mighty God, dip your sword in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And do a miraculous surgery right now. Do a creative surgery right now, God. In the life of your people. Oh God, I said dry up. Oh God Almighty. 
Almighty, dry up. Oh, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, that's it. Lord God Almighty, Colleen, I hear Holy Ghost say, The battle is not yours, Colleen. The battle is not yours, Colleen. Holy Ghost say, The battle is not yours, Colleen. The battle is not yours. Now take up when I belong to you. Mighty God, too much of your people are suffer because of cancer. Somebody dead for them. And they happy to live with pain. Oh God Almighty, I said, God, give joy right now, God. According to your word, I Father, even though as I put them in your hands, not one of these persons, God, must not, not come back without a good testimony. Oh God, we want testimony, God. Father God, you are the same God yesterday and tomorrow. God, you parted the Red Sea for the children of Israel. So God, as you part the Red Sea, oh God, part some giant called cancer. Oh God Almighty, rip you out of your people right now, God. Oh God Man. Oh God, of, oh God, oh God, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon your people, mighty God. Oh God, have mercy, Lord. Oh God Almighty, some of them are saying, oh God, it seems like you can't fix because they are seeing the Red Sea before them. They are seeing the army. The doctor give them over, God. But God, is there anything too hard for you? God, is there anything too hard for you? Oh, God, I put them in your hands, God. Father, heal your people, God. Oh, God, I beg you, please, Daddy, beg you, I beg you, Daddy, please. Oh, Father, may I beg you, please, have mercy on your people, God. Oh, God, may I ask you if you have mercy, too much cancer patient in your church. Oh, God Almighty, sometimes we know we don't eat right, but still have mercy. Oh, God, please have mercy upon us, God. Father, have mercy. Oh, God, and help us to listen to your still voice. Oh, God, I thank you, God. Oh, God, I thank you. Thank you. Oh God, we know we not deserve your mercies. But we say thank you, Jesus. God, we say thank you for your healing. We say thank you for your deliverance. We say thank you, Jesus. Oh God, we say thank you, Jesus. Oh God, we say thank you, Lord. Oh God, we thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. And we thank you for what you're doing. We thank you, Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Just stretch your hands towards her. Church, just stretch your hands towards her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I pray, God, that you'll just replenish her right now, God. From the very crown of her head to the very stall of her feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. God. Everything that you pour out to oh God, to your people today. Replenish her. Oh God, with a triple portion of your anointing and strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
It is done. It is done. It is done. Thank you for making yourself available. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank the Lord for using her so mightily today. Hallelujah. And as we put the ship into docking state and closing right now, we're going to give an opportunity for those who are unsaved. If you are here and you are unsaved, we don't want you to leave without making that opportunity, making use of that opportunity. If you are here, you are not saved and you want to come. The altar is still open. I want you to just run, come up here. If you are here and you think that you are in that state of lukewarm and you want to give that God a chance in your life today. Going one, going twice, going thrice. Amen. 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 Um, just a way of announcement. Sister Lillian. Sister Lillian Lewis. She has lost her daughter. That's her. Yes, we want to remember her in, her, in our prayers today. And to encourage her with a word of you know, encouragement. And to pray for the family. And as time goes by, we will get further details so we can let you know. Amen. And remember Sister Altia as she go in her moment of grieving. She lost her father and her Sister Anglin. So we have those three persons among us today. Amen. So shall we stand? Hallelujah. I just want to give God thanks today. Thank you for you know, extending yourself beyond our regular time of closing. And as we go, we just want to send you off with the blessing of Almighty God. Raise your right hand with me. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us before his throne. To him be dominion and power and might. The only wise God. As we say, amen. Go in Peace, love somebody, love on somebody today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. The announcements are as follows. Join our WhatsApp group by texting your name to the number on the screen. Stay up to date with the family of God. Our recurring activities include Sunday school classes on Sundays at 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. Children's church every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Except for fourth Sundays. Bible study on Wednesdays, 7.30 p.m. Youth Ablaze is at 7.30 p.m. on Fridays. And prayer meetings are Tuesdays and on Saturdays, they begin at 6 a.m. on Zoom. Our live streams are not possible without the help of our dedicated media ministry. They ensure that we always produce quality content for you, our wonderful viewers, to enjoy. If you would like to support them, please take the following steps. Additionally, if you would like to give to our church and media ministry, there are many ways to do so. You can scan the QR code on your screen or visit the link being shown or by copying the banking information. We urge you to continue praying for our brothers and sisters, especially those on our prior list. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Do Haney Part New Testament on YouTube as well as share our videos with a family member or friend. Turn on the post notification bell to be notified whenever we post or go live. Follow us on all our other socials on Instagram at Duhaney Park and on Facebook at Duhaney Park New Testament. May God bless you richly. The announcements are as follows. 
join our WhatsApp group by texting your name to the number on the screen or by emailing us via our email address to stay up to date with the family of God. Our recurring activities include Sunday school classes on Sundays at 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. Children's church every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. except for fourth Sundays. Bible study on Wednesdays, 7.30 p.m. Youth Ablaze is at 7.30 p.m. on Fridays. And prayer meetings are Tuesdays at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. And on Saturdays, they begin at 6 a.m. on Zoom. Our live streams are not possible without the help of our dedicated media ministry. They ensure that we always produce quality content for you, our wonderful viewers, to enjoy. If you would like to support them, please take the following steps. Additionally, if you would like to give to our church and media ministry, there are many ways to do so. You can scan the QR code on your screen or visit the link being shown or by copying the banking information. We urge you to continue praying for our brothers and sisters, especially those on our prior list. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Do Haney Part New Testament on YouTube, as well as share our videos with a family member or friend. Turn on the post notification bell to be notified whenever we post or go live. Follow us on all our other socials on Instagram at Do Haney Park and on Facebook at Do Haney Park New Testament. May God bless you richly. The announcements are as follows. Join our WhatsApp group by texting your name to the number on the screen or by emailing us via our email address to stay up to date with the family of God. Our recurring activities include Sunday school classes on Sundays at 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. Children's church every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. except for fourth Sundays. Bible study on Wednesdays, 7.30 p.m. Youth Ablaze is at 7.30 p.m. on Fridays. And prayer meetings are Tuesdays at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. And on Saturdays, they begin at 6 a.m. on Zoom. Our live streams are not possible.